Fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out who's talking about you right now and what are they saying. Today is the 14th of December, 2022. Time is 2.30 a.m. Um, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Um, this is a collective reading for fire signs and if you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same fire sign. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. Who's talking about fire signs right now and what are they saying? Two wands at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. I feel like this is somebody you had a fight with. Five of wands, an altercation, an argument, um, or misunderstanding because we've got the Ace of Swords here in our first. And the two wands here indicates them. This person could be telling people also about you know the past judgment not very nice things to be honest i feel like five of swords that could be because you know they want people to be on their side they want to have you know I, I think it's normal in a sense um i'm not saying that it's okay but i feel like it's kind of normal when they say something about you it may not be true because the ace of swords here is in one first right they may not be telling the truth they could be saying things just to have people um, be on, this, on their side, okay? And we've got the Eight of Swords here. This person has been thinking a lot about you, but the King of Wands here in the first. This person could be somebody like you are, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or that they could be telling people that, or somebody in particular. You know, the King of Wands in the first. Not a good king when it's in reverse and it's a fire sign. So I feel like they definitely are not saying really good things about you. And they may be telling people about your dirty laundry. Yeah, judgment. Feels like a dirty laundry. Your secrets, your dirty laundry, your character. I feel like it may not all be true, okay? Because the Ace of Swords here, some of us in the Five of Swords, feels like they just want to have, you know, they just want to one-up you in a sense. Or that they could be telling people that you've been playing games with them, mind games with them, with the Five of Swords. Um, or that you're not willing to compromise and you're constantly fighting with them or disagreeing with them, with the Five of Wands. Or this connection between you and this person just hasn't been peaceful okay ten of wands and my voice can indicate them telling people that oh they've given up on you or that you have given up on them and the charity here in my first yeah they could be telling people that they find it really hard to move forward with you because there have just been way too much drama too many fights right five of wands here five of swords and the judgment it feels like they're saying bad things about you again uh airing out your di dirty laundry <laughs> with the world here they could be telling people that although they still think a lot about you eight of swords here they think you may have moved on you may have closed this chapter or that they may have been trying to close this chapter with you with the world could be feeling conflicted with the five of wands, okay? I'm not sure. Two of wands here in an upright position. Let's see more. 
yeah, they, they've been telling people that your connection with them has ended. And the way both of you used to fight. For some of you, the kind of fighting, the two groups of you, your five signs, one group of you is the kind of fight that is passive aggressive. And another group of you, it's like an actual real fight. It could be physical or could be like shouting, <clears throat> being really loud here with the judgment because there's a trumpet here. But I see two groups of you, okay? And one group of you, it's like, okay, I don't want to talk to you, give you silent treatment because A is a sword, is a well verse, playing mind games. Another group of you, it's like literally loud, the kind of arguments where, you know, your neighbor can hear it. So, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and Two of Wands. Well, they could be telling people that they do kind of miss you, okay? They do kind of miss you. But also at the same time, they don't know how to actually move forward with you because of disagreements, again, arguments. It's just way too much for them to handle with the Ten of Wands here in work first. Or that they could be telling people that both of you have been arguing too much and maybe you just couldn't handle it anymore yourself, okay? Six of Wands. They could be telling people that, you know, that you could be kind of arrogant. Um, there's this energy of like you want to be right all the time. I don't know. Again, I feel like it may not be completely true because the sword is in reverse and then we've got the five of swords. They could also be telling somebody or people that maybe you're seeing someone else already, you know, or that you've been trying to get their attention by acting weird here or by starting a fight with them. And with the lovers, they could be telling somebody or people that, you know, you possibly could be the best in bed, <laughs> the most compatible one in bed. You know what I mean, right? Physical intimacy. They could still tell people that they're interested, as in they're still attracted to you, but they just don't know how to move forward with you. Five Pentacles, they may feel left out by you, shut out by you. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Get some water. Moon here is in my first, and we've got the three swords. So, yeah, they've been telling people that the way things ended between the two of you was really sad for them, okay? And they were devastated. They felt left out in the cold, felt abandoned with the Five of Pentacles here. Um, and the Two of Wands, it could be them also telling people that they have to make a decision right now or that they're thinking about making a choice here in regards of talking to you with the Moon in reverse. But I, I still sense that they could be telling people like you have other options or that you're currently dating other people. And it makes them feel indecisive whether they should talk to you or choose you or reach out to you. Okay, Fire Science is your reading and I hope you resonated in some way, shape or form. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. And I upload them right away once I'm done with all of the readings. So they are as um, as life as they can be, as fresh as they can be. All right, Fire Science, hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Take care. Bye.